Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. Today I'm gonna be discussing some really awesome tricks which will help you all to check for divisibility of numbers in a really efficient manner. So let's begin. The first rule is for divisibility by 7. A number is divisible by 7 if its units place digit is multiplied by 2 and subtracted from the remaining digits and the number obtained is divisible by 7. Let us take an example of the number 3164. Now the units digit of 3164 is 4. You multiply this units digit by 2 and you get 8. Then you subtract this 8 from the remaining digits which is 316. So 316 minus 8 gives me 308. Now some of you all might know that 44 into 7 is 308 and hence you can say that 3164 is divisible by 7. But if you are not sure as yet then you can further repeat the process. You find the units digit of 308 which is 8. You multiply that by 2 and you get 16. Then you subtract 16 from the remaining digits which is 30. So 30 minus 16 gives me 14. Now this is basic math. Everyone knows that 14 is divisible by 7. Hence the number 3164 is divisible by 7. Let's look at divisibility by 9. Now a number is said to be divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Let us take this example of 1629. Now all you got to do is take the sum of all the digits 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9 and the result that you get is 18 and as we all know that 18 is divisible by 9 hence the number 1629 is divisible by 9. Now let's look at divisibility by 11. Now a number is said to be divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the digits at odd and even places is either 0 or a multiple of 11. One thing to remember people is always start from the right. Let's look at this example. Uh, suppose the number is 5346 and as I said you start from the right. So the odd digits will be 6 and 3 and the sum of the same will be 6 plus 3 which equals 9. And the even digits will be 4 and 5. So the sum of the digits at the even places will be 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9. Now you have to find the difference of both the sum at the odd places and the sum at the even places. Now when you find the difference which is 9 minus 9 you get 0 and as I said if the difference is either 0 or a multiple of 11 then the number is divisible by 11. Hence the number 5346 is divisible by 11. Let's look at divisibility by 13. Now a number is divisible by 13 if its units digit is multiplied by 4 and added to the remaining digits and the number so obtained is divisible by 13. Let us look at this example of 21307. The units digit of 21307 is 7. You multiply this units digit by 4 and you get 28. Next, you add this 28 to the remaining digits which is 2130 and you get 2158. Now we are not sure as yet whether 2158 is divisible by 13. So we re repeat the same process. Now the units digit of 2158 is 8. We multiply this by 4 again and we get 32. Then we add this 32 to the remaining digits which is 215 and 215 plus 32 gives me 247. Now we know that 13 into 19 is 247. Hence the number 21307 is divisible by 13. See if you didn't know whether 247 is divisible by 13 you could repeat the process again and further break down the number so as to verify. But uh, for people who know that 13 into 19 is 247 you can go till this step and then finally say that 21307 is divisible by 13. Let's look at divisibility by 17. Now a number is divisible by 17 if its units place digit is multiplied by 5 and subtracted from the remaining digits and the number obtained is divisible by 17. So people are you noticing some kind of pattern developing? It's just that the number that is to be multiplied changes and whether you add or subtract that changes. Rest everything remains the same for numbers like 7, 13, 17 and even 19 that we'll see later. Now let's look at this example which is 3213. The units digit of 3213 is 3. You multiply that by 5 and you get 15. Now you subtract this 15 from the remaining digits which is 321 and you get 306. Now if you aren't sure whether 306 is divisible by 17, you repeat the process. Now the units digit of 306 is 6. You multiply that by 5 and you get 30. 
you subtract 30 from the remaining digits which is 30 and you get 0 and as we know that 0 is a multiple of all the numbers hence the number 3213 is divisible by 17. Let's look at divisibility by 19. Now number is said to be divisible by 19 if its units place digit is multiplied by 2 and added to the remaining digits and the number so obtained is divisible by 19. Let's look at this example of 2774. The units digit is 4. You multiply that by 2 and you get 8. Then you add this 8 to the remaining digits which is 277 and you get 285 which is 19 into 15. Well, if you aren't sure whether 285 is divisible by 19, you could further repeat the process and further break down the number. But for people who know it, the answer is 2774 is divisible by 19. So let's look at some other divisibility rules for basic numbers, which many of us might know already. For 2, the number is divisible by 2 if its unit digit is even or it is 0. For 3, the number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. For 4, the last two digits have to be divisible by 4. For 5, the number should end in 0 or in 5. For 6, the number have to be divisible by both 2 as well as 3. For 8, the last three digits of the number shall be divisible by 8. For 12, the number shall be divisible by both 4 as well as 3, which is you need to, the number has to satisfy the divisibility rule for both 4 as well as 3. That is the last two digits shall be divisible by 4 and the sum of the digits shall be divisible by 3. Then the number will be divisible by 12. For the number to be divisible by 14, it has to be divisible by both 2 and 7. For 16, the last four digits shall be divisible by 16. And for 18, the number shall be divisible by both 2 and 9. Finally, I would highly recommend you all to remember all these divisibility rules and practice a few examples using the same because these rules will come in handy while solving problems based on number system. So that's it people. I will come up with more interesting videos. Till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.